community shows its support for the Sycamores. Tonight, during the ISU home football opener, fans at Memorial Stadium wore the color white to show their support. It comes after the crash last month involving five ISU students, including several players from the football team. The accident claimed the lives of Christian Eubanks, Caleb Van Hooser, and Jaden Musilli. Eubanks and Van Hooser were football players. Omari and Dixon and John Moore are also football players, and they were seriously injured in the crash, and they continue to recover at the hospital. Terry Craig was at the game this evening and is here with the details. Terry. Indiana State football begins their season with a, with a heavy heart, but the Sycamore family came to get behind the team. A sea of white. <laughs> all in a show of support for the Indiana State football team. A moment of silence was held before the game to honor the victims of last month's crash. A group that showed support, the new St. Mary of the Woods College Sprint football team. I just think it was a, a, a good thing to do to support, uh, you know, Coach Mallory and, and uh, his staff and his players. And, uh, you know, after everything that's happened, you know, it's uh, just something we felt like uh, we, we needed to do. And the team will display decals to honor those killed in the crash. The Sioka family traveled from Fort Wayne to watch Rocco Sioka begin his ISU football career. They say it was important for them to wear white to honor Rocco's fallen teammates. My brother was friends with uh, one of the boys that passed away. For students, <laughs> or even future sycamores, <laughs> the community will continue to get behind this team as the Wabash Valley moves forward. It is a big deal, and, and you know, our uh, the Wabash Valley is a very close-knit group, and we support each other, and, and you know, that, that's why we're here, and, and just to give as much support as we can. And the game just wrapped up. Later in sports, Grant Pugh will tell us how the Sycamores fared against North Alabama.